I saw a, a post by Patrick Bet David. I love that guy. Oh man, so cool, Patrick. Yeah. Episode yeah, two. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> Not here to fuck around. I told you we're going. We're going all out, man. If we got PBD on this podcast, oh, good, dude. Would you fly if you got a phone call? Me, I'd fly without a plane. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> be that way. You got a phone call. Say, hey boys, uh, their <laughs> agent reaches out and says, hey boys, we want you on our podcast. That's all right, done. Let's do it. I'll but I, I, what I love about what he's doing is he's got a nine-year-old son and older kids as well, yeah, and younger ones, but. I, I love his mindset as far as how to groom them. And he's a very successful person, very wealthy. He's got everything at, at his feet. Yeah. But he's teaching his kids to be good human beings. Have right? you seen the, uh, his currency thing? Which one? Oh, yeah. yes, absolutely. Yeah, how good is that? How good? Yeah. Because you want, a new, you want a new video game? Absolutely. That's 10 pages. Yeah. Our currency at home yeah. is pages. That's it. Yeah. How well, good is that? It's a really cool concept, man. Amazing concept. Yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, my old man, you know what? We'll get my old man on the podcast one day. Go on. But he's very entrepreneurial. He's had businesses his whole life. He's had a great experience. He's, got a, he's had a whole range of things. But he's always been very – he's been a great mentor to me in the sense that – but he, he always let me do my own thing. He yeah. let me make my own mistakes. Yeah, that's and good. You need it that. is good. It's great. Mm. But in the same token, and again, hindsight and no criticism whatsoever because he's done an amazing well, – both my parents did an amazing job – it would have been good for him maybe to have been a little bit harder and say, no, you want, you know, you want this, it's pages. Not in that regard, but maybe push me a little bit more to say, no, nah, be a bit more disciplined, do mm. this, do this. He was more of, okay, cool, this is your race, make your mistakes, this is my advice, but make your mistakes. And me, being young and dumb, just made those mistakes. Right? And you learn from them. Absolutely. Like, arguably, I wouldn't be here where I am today if it wasn't as a result, for the result of having those life experiences. You know what you, I mean? You, you wouldn't be here. No, that's yeah. right. You'd be in a different position. Who exactly. Knows where, but yeah. Exactly. Better, worse, who knows? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Yeah. But, you know, I look at all those things and now being a father myself, I want to make sure that my kids are a step above everything and everyone. Honestly. Like, I'm not, I, don't want to, I don't want to give them a silver spoon no matter how big my success, no matter, no matter how big my failures, they're, all gonna, they're always going to be humble, hardworking and, and have that mindset from a really young age. And in all honesty, I see that now. I look at some of their friends and some of the people that they associate with and, and what they're doing and I tell them indirectly, not that their friends are shit or anything like that, but <laughs> I'm trying to get them to understand that you want these things in your life. You want to be great. You've got to, you've got to do this. You've got to go through these steps. You've got to have your challenges. You've got to, have, you've got to be grateful. We practice, we practice gratitude every single night before yeah, they go to bed. Told me. That's yeah. really cool. It is. It's so cool. Before yeah. they go to bed every single night, it's like we'll go, what are you grateful for? Tell me something you love about yourself. Tell me something that you want to improve and what's your goal every single night. Yeah, that's, right? that's really cool, man. I think gratitude is one of the most underrated like if I had to share, I put like a lot of work in, like we've done the reps and I'm still doing reps, won't stop. But the one thing, like if you had to put it down to one thing, the most powerful thing, it's if you can be grateful, like you can't be sad, you can't be depressed, you know, it defeats everything else. Like if you can sit down and, and uh, this was, I learned a concept from Dwayne where he said, just make it simple and, you know, wake up in the morning, write down three things that you're grateful for that morning. I'm uh, sorry, for three things you're grateful for in your life. And then before you go to bed, write down three things that you're grateful for from that day. And when you have to write it down, yeah, your brain can't think as fast as you can write. So your brain thinks faster than you can write. So you have to slow down your thinking to write it. Mm. So it, it allows you to properly synthesize it. You know what I mean? And it's one of the most powerful concepts, man. It's awesome that you do that for your family. Yeah, so good. Yeah. But I ended up picking that up probably during the COVID years in the later half of it, later part of it, because it, I was finding that I was getting affected mentally in a, in a negative way and most nights now i'd say almost every night before i go to sleep i just list as many things that i'm grateful for in my head All right? and it always starts off with the with everything your family your wife your kids your dog your house the clothes on my back the food and by the time i get the to basics, number 20 yeah the basics yeah but by the time i get to the 20th 30th one i'm sleeping yeah like i never remember the last one i said because <laughs> i'm just i'm out and that's out? the last thing i think about before i go to sleep do you ever run out? Sorry? Do you ever run out? Do I have it right now? No, no. Do you ever run out? Like, you ever oh, think, run uh, out. No, no, no. I've, no, because I go super basic. Yeah, everything. I'm grateful that I can walk. Grateful I'm grateful that I get to drive, drive my car. Yeah. I'm grateful that I can put petrol in it. I'm grateful that I got a flat today. You know, I get to. 
I get to have all these things. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, you do you know mention I mean? that at the, at the summits as yeah. well. Yeah, that's yeah, a really I get powerful to have these part problems. as well. So I, I don't do it as much in the morning. I'd like because uh, it's not generally the first thing I think about. But most of the time, I'll get up and go. Try right. it, man. Yeah, I will. Try it. I'll Take will. a minute. I, I'm up real early, so, so I'm normally up five thirty ish. Up four thirty today. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You just pump for this podcast. I was you doing that so much. <laughs> How good is that? I couldn't sleep. That's it. Shut the bed. That's it. Look, this is actually our first and last podcast because it's yeah, too much fun. It, yeah. So we have to stop. So we're calling quits. So thanks for watching. That's it. But <laughs> it's not fair that we're having so much fun. Not, we're having so much fun with live events. Having it's so much fun with doing this podcast now. It's not fair.